BART executives say that climate change, sea level rise, is going to pose a growing threat to the transit system. But with BART barely staying afloat financially right now, there is very little being done to tackle this long-term problem. KPI X5 reporter Devin Feely explains. BART has already identified several of its stations which might be vulnerable to climate change writ large and to sea level rise specifically. But the problem is with ridership and revenue down so significantly during the pandemic, they would not only need to formulate a plan, they'd also need to find the money to make it a reality. The most vulnerable stations, BART officials say, are in low-lying coastal areas like San Bruno, San Leandro, and the stations at the San Francisco and Oakland airports and Coliseum. One of the predictions is that we could see high tides that are a foot higher than they are now by mid-century, so that's 2050. There could be a number of potential impacts from sea level rise, BART engineers say. San Francisco's Embarcadero station, for example, could occasionally be inundated by high tides. Other stations could be threatened by rising groundwater that would strain the system's existing pumps and aging infrastructure. The thing for me is, well, we're in the Bay Area and we're at the kind of height of technology and innovation, yet this, this is an old system that's really dilapidated. BART has identified many of the potential problem areas, but the agency is cash-strapped, dependent on infusions of money from the federal government just to keep the trains running, leaving little left over to address climate change. The devastating impact of the pandemic and the drastic reduction in our numbers of riders who pay for the tickets has really thrown a um, real curveball into our funding plans. BART riders say they understand the transit agency's financial predicament, but worry about the long-term costs of inaction now. It might be actually easier to say, let's act like it's going to happen in 10 years. And in 10 years' time, what could BART system do to have a plan in place to not be caught with our pants down and dealing with knee-deep water and waiting to work in the BART system? BART says that several of its vulnerable stations are connected to other important pieces of infrastructure here in the Bay Area, like the airports in San Francisco and Oakland, and that any plan to mitigate those impacts would, of necessity, have to be regional and collaborative. In San Bruno, Devin Feely, KPIX5.